Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Man oh man, am I excited to film this video. I seriously cannot wait. Last week I was tagged in a photo on Instagram and I actually screenshotted the comments so I could give you credit. Heather and Bloom 76 tagged me in a photo of this eyeshadow palette from a brand called Alter Ego. The palette was called the Goddess Palette and it looked exactly like the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. If you guys don't know, the Natasha Denona Gold Palette is like my favorite eyeshadow palette out of all the palettes I've ever tried. That is the one that I love so much. That's the one that I really feel like is worth every single penny. So as soon as I saw that, I knew I had to hop on and purchase this palette. So I did, and you guys are going to lose your minds at how similar these look. And we're gonna be testing them out. I'm gonna be playing with the Natasha Denona Palette on this eye and then the Goddess Palette on the other eye. So just to refresh your memory, here is the Natasha Denona gold palette. Now this retails for $129. It's a 15 pan palette. Very expensive, but again, one of my favorite palettes. It has the most unique formulas and I've just absolutely loved it. Get ready. <laughs> This palette is a little bit smaller and they rearranged the shades, but it's basically the same. Here is the Goddess palette from Alter Ego. I just received this in the mail today and I'm so excited to play with it. This palette retails for $16 and there are 15 shades. So a significant price difference. Let me hold them up next to each other so you guys can see and then we're just gonna start playing with these colors. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Obviously you get larger pans in the Natasha Denona palette, but this is still a pretty good size palette and you get all the same kind of color scheme, same exact colors. It's obvious that Alter Ego purposefully duped the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I kind of have mixed feelings about brands that do this because I feel like the credit for like the creativity should definitely go to Natasha Denona. But I also understand the side of like a lot of us don't have $130 lying around to spend on an eyeshadow palette. So, you know, this $16 dupe could be worth it for you. We're going to put it to the test. Enough chatting, oh my word. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep the eyes really quick and I'll be right back. I'm gonna be starting off with the Alter Ego palette. We're gonna dip into this shade right here called Era. And I'm gonna to start to work this in the crease and I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just gonna to start to build this up in the crease. I've swatched the two on my hand, the same shade. This shade seems to be the dupe for Aria, which is this shade right here in the palette, in the gold palette, I should say. Here's the Natasha Denona swatch and here is the Alter Ego. So swatch, they're kind of similar. And upon swatching them, I did feel like the Natasha Denona one had a little bit more of a buttery feel to it. You really can't beat the Natasha Denona mattes in my opinion, but this shade was also really nice when I swatched it and it's also blending out very nicely on the eyes. So I'm just going to continue to build this up, blending it out toward the end of the brow. So far so good with the blending, you guys. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe that there's a palette like this. I'm gonna take another M441 brush from Morphe. This is a clean one and I'm gonna dip into Aria, which is the real shade. And let's see how these compare once they are put on the eyes and once they are blended out. This is like my first dupe video that I've ever done on my channel, which is kind of crazy. I really do want to do more, but I feel like this is not a bad place to start. This palette seems to be a pretty good dupe so far. The Natasha Denona shadow, as I'm building it up, it's kind of deepening up more than this one did. So I'm probably not gonna add too much more to this side of the eye. I'm gonna take the other brush that we were using with the Alter Ego palette. I should call it the Goddess palette because that's what it's called. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of deepen up the crease a little bit more just to kind of match the sides a little bit better. Next, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This is called Dijon. It's a beautiful mustard tone. I'm actually just gonna take the same brush we were using, but I'm gonna make sure I'm using it from the same palette, you know? And I'm gonna start to apply this kind of on the outer corner, and then I'm building it up and I'm dragging it into the crease a little bit. I'm kind of gonna alternate sides, like starting with the Natasha palette and then the Goddess palette, just to kind of keep it fresh, you know? And to keep a little bit of the surprise element. But I absolutely love this shade. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's such a unique mustardy brown. The pigment is there. It is beautiful. I'm stopping it about two-thirds of the way in and now let's go ahead and dip into Athena Which is this shade right here, which corresponds to Dijon and let's see how this performs I'm doing the same thing I'm just gonna start to layer this on the outer corner of the eye and I'm just building that up and blending it into the crease So this one's definitely a little bit more of a bright yellow slightly, it's really, really slight, but I feel like it really picks up on camera. Um, the Natasha Denona one kind of translates a little more brown and this one translates a little more like 
greeny mustard. Still a beautiful color on its own, but side by side, I do feel like there is quite a bit of a difference with this one. Let me swatch them on the back of my hand so that you can see them. So right here we have the Dijon from Natasha Denona, and right next to it, I'm going to swatch Athena. So this is from the other palette. So a little bit different, but again, similar vibe. All right, I feel like we really need to try out some of these shimmer shades. I'm gonna take my favorite shade in the Natasha Denona palette. It's this one right here. It's called Brass, and it's one of the most beautiful eyeshadows I've ever used. I actually like to use my finger to apply this. I'm gonna go ahead and take that on my left hand and apply it in the inner corner of the eye right here and just start to kind of layer that up. And there's like actual flecks of glitter, so I do have to kind of press down when I'm doing this. But like this shade speaks for itself. I'm so interested to see what the dupe for this shade looks like. All right, in this palette, the dupe is called Valkyr Valkyrie. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce that shade, but here it is right here. It looks stunning in the pan, actually. I'm just gonna do the same thing and use my finger on the right hand. And let's see how this one applies. I'm just gonna start to build this up and press it onto the eyelid. Wow, it's really, really similar, especially as I start to build it up. There's definitely not as many big chunks of glitter, but you get the same kind of iridescent vibe. So far, the Goddess palette seems to be a little bit more like warm toned. I feel like maybe it's the mustard shade underneath that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I wanna deepen up the crease on the outside a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the shade Avalon right here, which is the dark brown in the Goddess palette. And I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M456 brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra and let's just see how this ends up looking. If we just kind of start to deepen up the outer corner, I feel like again, the mustard shade kind of threw it off. Otherwise, I feel like it'd be a really similar eye look from the right to left eye. And obviously, I will apply the dark brown shade from the Natasha Denona palette onto this eye. I'm just kind of trying to build up my right eye really quick. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that golden green shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the eyelid again because I feel like I dusted off a little bit after applying the brown shade. See, already that kind of helped bring in the other tone. So I'm gonna take that same shade. This is called Log. This is from the um, Natasha Denona palette and it's the dark brown in this palette. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of press this on the outer corner. I don't feel like I need as much of this shade to kind of balance it out, but I do want to put a little bit on. It's so weird like not using the same brush on both eyes. I'm trying to be careful with that so that we can get a really nice accurate result. So far so good you guys, after adding that brown, I really feel like you can't tell. And let me swatch the browns for you really quick. Here is Log from Natasha Denona, and here is Avalon right under it. Not quite as buttery, but again, you can kind of build this up to around the same intensity. So there is Avalon right there. Very similar browns. Once it's on the eyes, you really can't tell that much. I don't really have the same brushes for everything, so I'm trying to find similar ones. I really wanna try out the dark blues in the palette. So I'm gonna take Python from the Natasha Denona palette, which is this gorgeous blue. I really wanna kind of line the lash line slightly with this. So I'm just gonna take that on a smaller brush and start to kind of stamp that on the outer corner a little bit. And then I'm dragging it in almost as a liner. I just kind of want to use as many shades as possible, you know, so we can see how close of a dupe this palette is. I'm taking a different brush and I'm going to dip into the corresponding shade in the Goddess palette, which is this one right here called Gaia. And I'm just going to start to apply that along the lash line as well. All right, I found two of the same brushes. So I'm gonna use one of them. Actually, mm, I'm gonna use my pinkies. I really wanna just kind of highlight the inner corner now. So I'm gonna take this shade right here in the Natasha Denona palette. It's the lightest shade. It is called Sparks. And it's really just like a bunch of tiny gold glitter. It's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna take my finger. And with this shade, I feel like I have to build it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep tapping this onto the inner corner. It's almost like a glitter topper more than an actual eyeshadow, at least in this palette. We'll see how the dupe palette goes, but I'm just layering that up in the inner corner. Then we're gonna go into the lightest shade in this palette right here. This is called Freya. And same thing, I'm just gonna use my finger and it looks like it kind of has a similar texture. Let's see how this performs on the eye. So similar, oh my word. It's extremely similar. Wow, <laughs> this is blowing my mind. 
And for fun, let's swatch this. I'm gonna first swatch the Natasha Denona one. There's the Natasha Denona. And then right beside it, I will swatch the Goddess palette, which is right here. That one has a little bit more of a stark base, but honestly, under certain lighting, you really can't tell. They're so, so similar. All right, you guys, let's clean up the under eye area. There was quite a bit more fallout on this side, which is the alter ego side. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edge. I'm just using a makeup wipe to do so. The same thing on this side. And then I'm just gonna take my finger to kind of pat out the edges just to make sure they're not too harsh. I'm gonna quickly apply some mascara to the top lashes. I'm gonna do about two coats on the top lashes and I'm using the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. All right, so now that the mascara is on the top lashes, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the primer and foundation because obviously this video is really gonna be focused on the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we will meet back to finish up the eye look. All right, so I put foundation, concealer, powder, and a little bit of cream bronzer on, but we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes and then we'll do the rest of the face. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called Juno in the Goddess palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stamp that across the entire lower lash line. And then once I have quite a bit of product there, I'm just gonna to continue to buff that out. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm going to be dipping into Teak, which is this shade right here, which is what I believe they duped with Juno. We will see how close it is. And this is a clean brush. It's the same brush, but I'm just gonna do that same thing where I press this on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna kind of buff that out. Very, very similar. Oh my goodness. This one's just slightly more mustardy. I'm gonna build this one up a little bit more to try to match the intensity of the other eye. And then I'm gonna take the same brushes, I'm just wiping them off a little bit on the tissue, but I'm keeping the same brush per palette. And we're gonna see how similar these gold shades are. This is another one of those show-stopping shades in the Natasha palette. So this is called Oro. I'm gonna take that on this brush, and this is such a buttery formula, it's insane. I'm just tapping off the extra. I might need to spray it, we'll see. Maybe it'll be okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start to apply this along the lash line right above that original shade just to kind of create a little more dimension. And I'm applying it halfway and I'm kind of blending it out toward the outer corner, but I wanna do another shade there. So I'm gonna just drag that into like this inner corner area here. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. I just wet the very end of the brush a little bit and I'll do the same thing on the other eye, but I just wanted to see how much more intense that would be. And it definitely made it a lot more intense. Let's switch brushes and go into Venus, which is the golden shade in this palette. Same brush, it actually feels very, very buttery, just like the other one. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I'm gonna be careful with this as well to make sure there's not too, too much fallout, but we're just gonna do the same thing. And I'm just gonna keep building this up into that inner corner. Wow, this is so crazy to me. All right, I'm gonna try where we wet the end and I'm gonna do the same thing where I just kind of reapply it in this inner corner here to make it really intense, just to see how it compares with a wet brush. Super similar as well. Definitely a little more fallout on this eye. Ooh, a lot of it fallout, okay. Yeah, I got quite a bit on the nose there. And just in general, there's been a little bit more fallout with this palette. Um, but nothing that a little bit of setting spray can't fix. I'm just trying to use them exactly the same to see how they perform against each other. All right, let's do one more color from this palette. I kind of want to try out the deep bronze shade. Um, this is called Varus in the Natasha palette. I'm just gonna take this on a small brush. I'm going to tap off the extra and I'm gonna use this to kind of deepen up that outer corner. Again, I'm trying to use as many shades as possible so that we can really see how this performs. It's not really that obvious on camera, but I really wanted to try that. And then in this palette, I'm gonna be using this shade right here called Aura. And it's the same brush style, different brush. And let's just do the same thing on the outer corner here. Definitely some fallout there too. I'm just gonna try to kind of brush that off. There's a little bit of fallout on this side too. You're kidding me. <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. Oh my word. All right, let's pop on some lower lash mascara. I'm just gonna use that same Nabla mascara. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that sparkly white shade and just reapply that to the inner corner of the eye. So I'm applying it from the Goddess palette first, using my right hand and with my left pinky, I'm going to apply the corresponding shade to this eye. 
All right, I'm just gonna quickly finish up the face and then we will come back to do more swatching and I will tell you guys my final thoughts based off of my first impressions. All right, you guys, so I just finished my makeup and honestly, I cannot believe how similar my eyes look. Like, since they're side by side, I can spot a couple differences, but honestly, they're not very obvious. I feel like the Natasha Denona shimmer shade that I have here is a little bit more chunky and has just the slightest bit more of a blue kind of shift to it. But I also really love how reflective the Alter Ego palette shade is. So I'm really happy with how both eyes turned out. I thought it would be fun to kind of swatch a couple of the shades that we didn't get to put on our eyes. And I first want to go in with this shade right here, which is called Lime Chrome. This is such a beautiful, interesting shade from the Natasha palette. Here is Lime Chrome on its own. And the corresponding shade is this one right here called Cassandra. So let's see what that one looks like right next to it. Immediately, I'm gonna have to build up this one a little more. So the formulas are obviously slightly different, but when you build them up a little bit, you can really get a very, very similar effect. So this is Lime Chrome, and this is the one from the Alter Ego palette. Really gorgeous though. I keep swatching these and just being stunned by how gorgeous both palettes are, honestly. Um, let's swatch one more side by side. I really wanna see how this sparkly blue compares. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this from the Natasha palette first. This is called Aurora and it is beautiful. I love this shade. It's so unique. It's a little bit more of a sheer shadow, but you can build it up really nicely. There it is on my hand right there. It's got gorgeous silver glitter. And the corresponding shade in this palette is this one right here called Artemis. Let's see how this one compares side by side. Again, same thing. I'm just building it up, similar to how I just built up the Natasha shade. There they are side by side. Oh. My goodness, okay. This one right here is the Goddess palette and this one is the Natasha Denona. Very, very similar ones applied. Wow, <laughs> okay, this is insane. Obviously you guys, the quality is better in the Natasha Denona palette. The mattes are amazing, the shimmers are amazing, the textures are so incredible in that. But wow, I must say that I am so impressed with this Goddess palette. And because of the price difference, I mean, ugh, you really can't go wrong with this one. You know what, I think it'd be kind of fun to see if my husband can guess which palette is on which eye so I'm gonna give him a call really quick hi yeah. so which one let me see up closer the eye with the spot in it is Natasha Denona this one yeah nope <laughs> that's the dupe <laughs> oh my gosh my husband thought the $16 palette was Natasha Denona you heard it here first folks that's crazy mm -hmm. say hi Hi everyone. So crazy, so crazy. Well, that was insane. And I really feel like that shows how close of a dupe that palette is. It's so crazy. So here are my final thoughts. Obviously you save what? 100 and how many dollars is that? 129 minus 16, you save $113 buying the Alter Ego palette versus the Natasha Denona gold palette. Again, I feel like the credit needs to be given to Natasha Denona because she was the genius behind this color scheme and the formulas and they just kind of copied it. They did do an amazing job copying though, I'll tell you that much, and the dupe is incredible. I really like how both of my eyes turned out. I will still forever and always stand behind this palette. It is still like my favorite in my collection, but oh by gosh by golly isn't that a christmas song <laughs> guys if you don't want to fork out 130 bucks on an eyeshadow maybe you like to collect different eyeshadow palettes and you would rather buy more affordable things more frequently versus investing you kind of need this this is so incredible it's so great i actually bought another one of their palettes they only have two palettes on their website i bought the other one i'm really interested to see how that one performs as well so maybe i'll use that in an upcoming video but um this is definitely approved by me and I definitely feel like you guys will love it. I would recommend this. It performed beautifully. Like I said before, there is a little bit more fallout with this one, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but it's just something to keep in mind as you're doing your makeup, wet the brush, do your eyes first, you know, do all those precautions. I honestly can't believe this. I'm absolutely shocked. <laughs>
And I'd say my first dupe video was a success. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I will have both palettes linked in the description box down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload, click on the bell after you subscribe, and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Here's a last little close-up of both eyes. Again, this is $16, and this is $129. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.